It's the building here, and today I'll be doing another re uh, video, and uh, uh, I'm gonna be doing a review on Thunder Trucks. Um, now this is not really gonna be a full review for two reasons because I'm still skating the trucks. They still got a long way to go before, like a really long way be to go before I get new trucks because by the time I get new trucks, it's probably they're gonna be because the axle's bent. Because the or because the trucks are grinded down to the axle or the trucks are cracked or something that or you know something that I can't fix and that kind of bothers me like a vent axle. So the, another reason this isn't gonna be a full review not just because they're not fully skated but also, I also haven't skated under. I I'm a beginner and uh, trucks last a long time and I haven't been skating that long. So. I, I haven't really skated any other trucks besides I've skated Walmart board trucks but I didn't do any grinds in them and I have a pair of Royals used and I have a pair of brand new Ventures because a friend gave them to me because he didn't want them I traded them for something so I'm just gonna I haven't I've had them for about a year but I haven't skated them at all and I don't think I ever will skate them because personally I don't even think I'm gonna like Ventures but I might eventually get Ventures but uh they're too small anyways they're like 145s and i i only ride like 147s or 148s so they're too small but these specific models they're not like hollow they're not titanium they're not like a pro model they're just your standard truck they're just your standard silver polished truck nothing hollow no hall axle no hall key pin I mean, the base plate is hollow, but all Thunder base plates are hollow. Um, silver, no colors. Uh, they're uh, they're high. I'm pretty sure they might be low, but I'm I'm pretty sure they're most likely high. Uh, um, so Thunder, they're one forty seven, size one forty seven, and that's basically eight. That's meant to fit an eight eight point oh board. Um. I'm skating with 825, but uh, I'm trying to look for my the right size for me because 8 was too small, so that counts as out 8, 8, 7, 7, 5, 7 7.5, anything below an 8, and I skated 825, too big, 8, 2, I mean, 8.5 was too big, 825, this is a little too big, I think, it's, real, it's comfortable to ride on, but it's a little bit too hard for flip tricks. I'm having a bit of difficulty with my kickflips. So I can land most, some of them, but uh, it's it's not as easy as to flip as on the eight. But uh, so I'm hoping. Let me just move that. So I'm hoping uh, after this board, I'm gonna try to get an eight one two five. Uh, eight point one two five, also known as an eight one, also knows known as an eight one two, eight twelve. Same thing. Just gonna try to get an 8125, maybe that'll be good. I don't know. If, I'm, if not, I'll probably just move back to an 8 or an 825. Sorry, my board's a bit dusty. Um, so, anyways, we're three minutes and four minutes into the video, and I still haven't said anything about these trucks besides what they are. So, I will take these off, but I'm still skating them, so I don't want to. The only thing that uh, I swapped out of these trucks is uh the bushings because the ones that came in after like a couple months, actually just recently, like a month ago, they actually probably like more like three or four months ago they cracked, yeah like four months ago, but they the just recently like a month or two ago they became they cracked like like more toward like the bushing literally, like the truck. It's straight, and then you push it to one side, and it goes back, but then the side is cracked. You push it, and it just stays like that. I don't know if it was the back of the front truck, but it's still like that, so I don't know. It might be that the axle is bent, possibly, because I switched out the bushings and everything, but it's still like that. If you can see, it's a little bit more leaning towards the left side. It's this side. It's not straight. It's like that a little bit. If you can see it. Yeah. So, I, I don't know if it's the bushings, too, because these bushings are pretty new. I got these from the Ventures I was talking about. They have no crack whatsoever. If I can show you them, too. See? Those bushings. 
So I think I might just get a pair of bones. Uh, I'm probably gonna get a pair of bones, bushings, a uh, pair of soft ones, cause my thunder ones, I like them. They were like nice and soft. So I, these were these are medium. I had a pair of royals. Those are too hard. So I figured I'd go with these, cause I couldn't skip the thunder ones. I didn't want to skip the royal ones, cause they're too hard, and I didn't want to buy new bushings. So I figured I'd just skate these. So, um, these trucks are, like, not that grinded down, but, like, they're not a little grinded down. You can't flip over the camera, so I'll just show you like this. That's my backside grind, so I don't do much of them. And those are my front side ones, which I basically only do front side. My front truck, my back truck is slightly more grinded down. Probably because five of those are a lot easier than crooks and nose grinds. The cane pins are barely uh, worn down. I haven't had any problems with these trucks besides, you know, the leaning thing. But that might be just the bushings. But I think, honestly, I think it might be the pivot cup, so I'll have to look at that. But I think I'm probably going to get some bones uh, soft bushings. Because uh, I want some new bushings. And I need some new bushings. After these go, I'll get some bones bushings. So, uh, churning on these. Okay, so I'm gonna read it in different categories. So, I'll read it in like five categories. Let's see. We'll do it durability, turning, how good they grind, what they, if they look good. Because I don't know. I like my stuff to look good. Like my gear. I mean, my trucks and my wheels, at least. My decks, I don't really care that much. My wheels, I like like white wheels so i don't know i like my shoes to look good i guess so durability how good they grind how good they churn how light they are and what they look like so also so durability i give i can't compare it to indies in the future i want to try just the main truck brands i want to at least try a couple more another pair of thunders Indies and Ventures and then maybe Royal and Crux if I can. I doubt I'm gonna go through that many pairs of trucks though soon. If I keep skating, hopefully I do, but I don't know. And then uh trucks I'm not too picky because as long as they churn and they grind, really, that's it. But I do like Thunders because they're so on durability, I'd give these like an eight point five out of ten, cause I add the indies are are probably more durable, but that they're the same exact metal. Like indies, all trucks when you think about it, pretty much all trucks are made out of pretty much the same material. Indies are just more durable because thunders are just like this, and then indies have like a like this huge cylinder shape up here. It's like super chunky. That's why they're more durable, but then you're also sacrificing that because they're way more, they they weigh more. Like a lot more. And I don't I don't personally like the the look of those that much because they look kinda I don't know. I like the look of them, but I like thunders how they look more. So I just starting to get a groove in. You can barely see it, but there is a groove there. I can feel it, it's like right there. It's a tiny groove, but it is a groove. So I'm just starting to get it in. Uh, cool thing I like about these trucks, I don't know if it's on all thunders, but mine. Uh, so I don't have to mark, like with the marker or anything, on my back and front truck. Because my front truck, you see right there, it says thunder. And then on the other side, it has a lightning bolt. And on my back truck, it says thunder. And, alright right there and then on and on the other side it has like this uh, i don't know if i could show you it has like that like this lightning bolt thing emblem and then like uh like lines so i i just when i got them i just picked the one with the bigger lightning bolt i just put that one on the front so i knew um so durability yeah, i give the 8.5 or 10 my camera's probably about to die so uh if it does that's at 10 minutes already just know that these are good trucks uh lightness i'd probably give this since they're not hollow 
compared to other trucks, these are probably one of the lightest ones you can get. I give these a uh, 8.5 or a 9 out of 10. Uh, if you're comparing it to one that's not hollow and not titanium, because those are lighter, but for a standard truck, this is really light and good. Look, I like the way these look. I don't know, they just look like a really classic slim truck. Really. Churning, uh, these churn good a bit. Mainly it's about the bushings, but like, I've heard that these churn a lot better. These are one of the trucks that these, these churn a lot better than Indies. I've heard that. I've never, I've skated my friend's board that have Indies, but he, he rides different bushings and he rides his, his trucks looser than mine. So that's my opinion different. But uh, I'd give these for churning. I'd give these an 8.5 out of 10. Again, um... What was durability, looks, turning, lightness, and what else? Oh, I forgot those ones, so I'm just going to do costs. So I got these trucks for like 17 bucks each. For trucks, like you can find some different, like some Destructos or like some like not that well-known trucks for like really cheap. You can get like mini little trucks for like. You can get like trucks for like ten, fifteen dollars for one truck, really cheap. But this is a pair of thunders. Like everyone knows thunders. Thunders are good, and seventeen bucks for a good truck that will last you long, turn good, and grind really good. Like sixteen, that's basically like fifteen, less than twenty bucks with tax. So, for, like, a pair of trucks, that's, like, 35 bucks, which is really good for a really good pair of trucks, is really good 35 bucks. I also use it for fingerboard tricks. I, all, all, since I haven't skated other trucks, I probably, I'll, won't rate it as good, but, uh, just in general, what I give these trucks out of 10, I give these trucks a 9 out of 10, because they really are good. And, uh, I wish I had some bones bushings, some good bushings to, you know, uh, further expand my good experience with these trucks. Uh, I have this really crusty wedge outside of my house. And I put some wax on there, and these grind so good. I literally stand five feet away, I do one push, and they grind like five feet on a crusty wedge. I don't know, they just grind good. And these aren't even titanium. I've heard the titanium ones grind way better. So I don't know. Stay tuned for more reviews like on this mini logo deck, some America shoes, and some Lakai shoes. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching. This was the building kid. Uh, even though I changed my channel name, I'm still going to refer to myself as that because uh, I don't know, because I like that better. And uh, stay tuned for more. Building kid out. See ya.